What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Riverdale cast's salary for their roles starring in the hit show that is Riverdale. Most of the actors on Riverdale were new to acting before getting their roles, and therefore they didn't get paid as much as, for example, Cole Sprouse. When the show skyrocketed in popularity, so did the cast's salaries. Lily Reinhardt Lily is one of today's most loved stars in young Hollywood, and that is for a good reason. Her close connection to her fans and her hard work on the big screen makes her a very lovable actor. Lily wasn't new to the acting industry when getting her role as Betty Cooper, but she had never been in any big movies or shows before. Lily has talked out about her problems with depression, and she said in one interview that she got the role as Betty Cooper when she was in a very dark place. As the cast members later explained, Lily was extremely shy, and it took a few weeks before she started opening up to her fellow cast members. When Lily started shooting for Riverdale, she only earned around $10,000 per episode. But when it comes to her salary for season 3, Lily Reinhardt earned a stunning $40,000 per episode. That means she made a whopping $880,000 for her role in season 3. Lily's estimated net worth has been valued to around $2 million. Since Riverdale is still growing in popularity, we could still see an increase in salary for Lily Reinhardt in the upcoming season 4. Cole was not new to the acting world when he auditioned for his role as Jughead. Or actually, did you know that Cole first auditioned for the role as Archie? Well, the producers and director decided that Cole was more fit for the role as Jughead, and were happy that they chose that path. Just imagine Cole with red hair, wouldn't that be crazy? Cole is maybe most known for his role in the Disney show En Suite Life of Jack and Cody, which he starred in together with his twin brother Dylan Sprouse. Since Cole already had a big following, he started out with a salary of $20,000 per episode. But with the success of Riverdale, Cole Sprouse has doubled his paycheck, and for his role as Jughead Jones in Riverdale Season 3, he earned $40,000 per episode. Just like Lily Reinhardt, Cole earned an estimated $880,000 for his part in Riverdale Season 3. Today, Cole Sprouse has a net worth of $8 million. We know for sure that this is a number that's going to increase even more for Season 4, because Cole recently revealed that he signed a six-year contract with Riverdale. If we would guess, it will only take a year or two before he has doubled his paycheck once more. Camila Mendez Camila was just like most of the cast, new to acting before Riverdale. At least if you don't count her job in an IKEA commercial back in 2016. We do believe that Camila was destined to get the role as Veronica, because as she revealed in an interview, she actually knew Cole from school. That's right, Camila and Cole went to the same university. They weren't close friends or anything, but Camila said that she would see Cole walking down the hallways now and then. Since Camila was new to the acting industry, she started out with a salary of $10,000 per episode, but just like Cole and Lily, she worked up her salary and earned $40,000 per episode in Riverdale Season 3. After Camila received her role as Veronica Lodge, the job started pouring in. She joined both the cast for The New Romantic, which premiered at the South by Southwest Festival in March 2018, and that same month Camila also joined the cast of The Perfect Date. Camila's current estimated net worth is around $3 million. KJ Appa KJ was well welcomed into the acting industry after he received his role as Archie Andrews and stunned the audience with his performance. Previously, KJ had only starred as Kane Jenkins in the New Zealand primetime soap opera Shortland Street, but with Riverdale, he made it internationally. Did you know that KJ actually has a New Zealand accent? But in the show, you can't even tell. The accent. Are there some words that are particularly difficult to say with an American yeah, accent? Yeah, there is. There is. The, the hardest one for me is saying girlfriend. Really? Girlfriend is a hard word to say. Um, I'm not good at it. KJ is a talented actor, that's for sure. But he's also a talented musician. And he loves to play the guitar and sing. KJ started season one of Riverdale with a salary of $10,000 per episode. But at the beginning of season three, his salary was raised to $40,000 per episode. After he got the role as Archie Andrews, KJ has starred in movies such as A Dog's Purpose, The Hate You Give, and The Last Summer. All the movies and shows KJ has starred in have raised his net worth to a stunning $3 million. Casey Cott 
Since we only have the salary confirmed for the core four, we're going to make our own estimated salaries based on net worth and screen time for the remaining cast members. Casey began his acting career performing in a local theater, appearing in productions such as Romeo and Juliet and Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. Casey continued to work in different theaters until his final year at CMU on March 12, 2016. He was cast as Kevin Keller for the new show Riverdale. Casey received the role as Kevin Keller, which was the first openly gay character in the history of Archie Comics, and he nailed his performance. Casey's net worth is estimated to around $500,000, so keeping that in mind, we believe that his season one salary wasn't more than $5,000 per episode. Since Kevin Keller became an increasingly important character throughout the show, Casey probably raised his salary to around $20,000 per episode for season three. That means that Casey earned around $440,000 for his part in season three. Ashley Murray. Ashley hasn't had any acting roles before her role as Josie McCoy in Riverdale. In the beginning, Ashley was cast as one of the not so important characters, but as Riverdale continued to grow, so did the importance of her character, Josie McCoy. Ashley portrays the leader for the singing group, the Pussycats, and that is perfect for Ashley, since she's really into singing in her spare time as well. Today, Ashley's net worth is estimated to around $1 million, but we still believe that she earns a salary similar to Casey Cott. That means that her salary per episode for season one was $5,000 or less. With the success the show has gained, she's managed to raise her salary, and for her role as Josie in season three, we have estimated her salary to around $20,000 per episode. Ashley's acting career has just begun, and she's announced that she will be starring in the remake of Valley Girl and get the main role as Josie in the upcoming Riverdale spin-off, Katie Keene. Ashley will portray an older Josie, pursuing a music career outside Riverdale, and we honestly can't wait for her new show to be released. Madeline Petch Madeline, just like Camila Mendez, appeared on the big screen for the first time in a commercial. Madeline appeared in a national advertising campaign for Coca-Cola all the way back in 2014. Other than that, she was new to the industry when she was cast as the iconic character Cheryl Blossom. Cheryl Blossom is a very tricky character to portray, and we don't think anyone else but Madeleine could have done her justice. Though she's one of Riverdale's original cast members, Madeleine isn't included in the show's $40,000 per episode deal for the series' leads. Still, as one of the show's most iconic characters, we're sure that Madeleine's paycheck isn't too far off from where the leads are making. With a net worth of $1 million, we've estimated her season one salary to $5,000 per episode and her season three salary to around $30,000 per episode. Outside Riverdale, Madeleine has her very own YouTube channel with over 4 million subscribers, so that is a great extra income for her. We are so excited to see her performance starring in the new movie Polaroid. And if you want to see more of Madeleine, check out F the Prom, The Hive, and The Curse of Sleeping Beauty as well. Skeet Ulrich Skeet made his first on-screen appearance back in 1989 and was a part of the well-known and respected actors that were cast for roles in Riverdale. With over 20 movies and shows behind him, Skeet has made himself a very successful career, but being 49 years old, he isn't making as many movies as he used to. Skeet usually receives roles as the young teen heartthrob, but those days are over. Even though he's 49 years old, he has confirmed that he doesn't have any plans of quitting acting anytime soon. Since he started out with a net worth way higher than the rest of the Riverdale cast, we have estimated his season one salary to $20,000 per episode. For season three, we believe that he's climbed up to $35,000 per episode, just slightly below the four main characters' salaries. Skeet Ulrich's net worth is today estimated to around $5 million, and for his role in Riverdale season three alone, he's made over $770,000. That is one hell of a paycheck, don't you think? Madchen Amick. Madchen Amick was just like Skeet Ulrich, famous before her role in Riverdale, thanks to her iconic role as the waitress Shelley in the television series Twin Peaks. The show was so successful that Madchen starred in both the prequel film Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me, and the Twin Peaks revival series. If you wonder about her unusual name, Madchen, we can explain that it is a German name and it can be translated into girl. For her role as Alice Cooper in Riverdale season one, 
We believe that she earned around $10,000 per episode. And for her part in season three, we've estimated her salary to $20,000 per episode. She earns less than the lead characters because she simply doesn't appear as much as they do. And also her character isn't as important. Madchen's net worth has been estimated to $3 million. And let's say that we are looking forward to her next big screen appearance. With that said, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, don't forget to comment what you think if they're going to get an even higher salary for season four, or if they're going to stick with the same salary as in season three.